Hey, what's up YouTube? Jason here from TriCro Studios. Today we're gonna to take a look at miking a bass cab using a Shure SM57. So thanks again for joining us here on TriCro Studios. Like I said, I'm Jason. If you haven't been here before, go back, check out some of our back catalog. A lot of videos there for you. Subscribe to the channel. New videos coming out every Saturday for myself, Ryan, and Kevin. So yeah, here we are. Uh, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. Usually I'm going through pedals and stuff like that, but uh, I figured let's try miking a cab with an SM57. Uh, it's one of the most common mics around. Uh, every studio has tons of them. I have one. Usually I kind of use uh, like a Beta 52 style mic for miking my bass cab, but this is such a common microphone that I figured why not shoot a video and see what it sounds like. Uh, you know, a lot of guitar players use it. Isn't really known for being on bass, but it's such a common mic that, uh, you know, why not? If, if you kind of have to have one mic for miking instruments, let's see if this does the job. So let's just get right down to it. Let's mic up a cab and let's go for it. All right, so here we are in front of my trainer Dynabase 200, uh, just a 200 watt combo amp. Uh, certainly really well. It's actually a really cool amp. If you haven't seen the video for this one, go back, check it out. So the way we're going to set up the mic today, uh, our SM57, is going to be kind of a standard way. So slightly off center, uh, about two inches into the cone, and then about an inch and a half back, and slightly off axis. That way it's not just pushing straight on and you're getting more of a full sound coming out of it. So let's just play and see what happens. All right, so now that we're all set up, we're all plugged in, let's just play. Uh, I'm gonna give you two sound sources, blend them, take them out. So I always run a DI from the amp into my focus right, as well as the mic, and then just that's usually how I get my bass tone, is blending the two for recording. Uh, so I'll have one blended, and I'll have one just straight up SM57. So that way you can hear what it's like blended, and then what you can hear when it's uh, just a microphone by itself. So here we go. So there we go, kind of just wanted to put that in a low range, uh, didn't want to go too high on it because uh, the Shure SM57 isn't known for having a low frequency response, that's why you kind of want to go with like a Beta 52 or something along those lines. Uh, maybe soon we'll do a comparison video and show uh, one of those style microphones against the, uh, the 57. But for now, this is what it sounds like kind of with the, the 57 uh, on that axis, slightly off center. I find that's going to give us the best tone out of that microphone for the bass. So if you have any suggestions about this microphone, you know, feel free to write us. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, so leave your comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know, thumbs down. Subscribe. Like I said, every Saturday, new videos coming out from myself, Ryan, Kevin. Uh, huge back catalog. So as always, I'm Jason from TriCrow Studios. Take care.